All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for Give Me Five. You recall that um, the other day I played you Barack Obama, narcissist in chief, uh, saying, hey, you know, a lot of black people sacrificed much for the right to vote. They, had a, they were attacked by dogs, water hoses. They were arrested, thrown in jail, beaten. So if you don't vote in this next election, you're insulting me and Michelle and my legacy. Not the people who suffered, me and Michelle and my legacy. Sicko narcissism. Okay, I wasn't the only one who heard that and raised an eyebrow. Louis Farrakhan, who I despise, in my opinion, he's a racist, he's a bigot, and he incites violence or tries to when he made that speech in a Miami church about wanting 10,000 men to go, in my, the way I heard it, kill people, kill white people and cops. That's how I heard it. Justice Department will never touch him. Anyway, he's not too happy with Barack Obama. So you Democrats, you've been in that party a long time. Answer me, what did you get? You got a president. He's worried about his legacy. Well, you want Hillary to get in to protect your legacy because Trump said the minute he get in, he's going to reverse the Affordable Care Act because that's your signature achievement. Mm -hmm. To show you how hateful the enemy is. Right, the enemy's hateful, and, and Trump is the enemy. Uh, interesting that he terms it and couches it in, that, in those terms. Okay, there's more from Louis Farrakhan. He hates that you achieved what you did achieve. So he said, I'm, I'm going to tear it up when I get in. So he don't want his legacy destroyed, Mr. President. Mr. President, you don't want your legacy destroyed. Wait till you hear the rest of this. Go. Let the man do if he get in what he want. Because he's not destroying your legacy. If your legacy is bound up in an Affordable Care Act that only affects a few million people and they're trying to make it really difficult for those of us who signed up, that's not your legacy. That's not your legacy. See the disgust on his face? Again, I'm no fan of this man. I despise this man, okay? Um, but it's interesting. The guy is from Chicago, basically a neighbor of Barack Obama in Chicago. And here's what he had to say. But I just want to tell you, Mr. President, you from Chicago and so am I. I go out in the street with the people. I visited the worst neighborhoods. I talked to the gangs. And while I was out there talking to them, they said, you know, Farrakhan, the president ain't never come. Could you get him to come and look after us? There's your legacy, Mr. President. It's in the street with your suffering people, Mr. President. And if you can't go and see about them, then don't worry about your legacy. With your suffering people. Isn't that what Donald Trump says? That the people in Chicago and the inner cities are suffering? And then the media jumps on him? How dare he say that? I just heard it from Louis Farrakhan and more. Because the white people that you've served so well, they'll preserve your legacy. The hell they will. But you didn't earn your legacy with us. We put you there. You fought for the rights of gay people. You fought for the rights of this people and that people. You fight for Israel. Your people are suffering and dying in the streets. That's where your legacy is. Yeah, he's not too happy about that, is he? No, you fight for Israel and for gays and for these people and those people, but we put you there. You got no legacy that this is where your legacy is, and it ain't good. One more. 
Now you failed to do what should have been done, but it's never too late. You, like Jimmy Carter, can be a better president after you leave the restrictions of your white house and come on back to the hood and start organizing like you did. And with your influence all over the world, let's make a new and better people. And from us, if it's Allah's will, we can make a new and better America. Thank you for listening, and may Allah bless you as I greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, not too happy with Barack Obama. Come back and be a community organizer. <laughs> yeah, fat chance that's ever going to happen again. How much do they make? Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, look, Donald Trump's right. His legacy is in the streets of Chicago, the streets of Detroit, the streets of Baltimore, the inner cities where he has failed miserably, and Hillary will fail as well. Thanks for watching.